Are you thinking about starting a drop shipping business? Here's some things you need to know before you start. Hey guys, this is Philip Watley with Life Without Boundaries. If you're new to the channel, this is a place that we talk about making money online, how to grow your online business, and just different things you can do to make a side income. And if that's interesting to you, go ahead and click the subscribe button down at the bottom and click the bell notification because we release videos five times a week. So today we're gonna to talk about drop shipping. If you're thinking about starting a drop shipping business, there's some things that you need to know. First off, drop shipping, for those of you that don't know, is the process of selling a third party's product and shipping it directly to the customer. Now, normal business models usually go from a third party vendor or product to like a warehouse where they like package it and uh, then they sell it from there to the customer. But what you're doing as a drop shipper, you're becoming that middleman and you're uh, selling products from the third party straight to the customer. And here are some benefits that come along with that. Some of the benefits of drop shipping is that you don't have to handle your own inventory. This frees up your business with time costs, labor costs, and maintenance costs of having to keep your own products in, in, some, in storage somewhere. Another benefit is that the drop shipper that you're selling products from will take care of packaging, managing, and shipping the product all by themselves. For many businesses, packaging and managing inventory and shipping costs lots of money. And through drop shipping, uh, third party vendors are able to outsource that to cut the cost and to make some money. Drop shipping also reduces the risk of damaged products because they're not going from the vendor to a company to package and ship. It's just going straight from the company to the customer. So there's a lot less change of hand. So there's less opportunity for your items to become damaged or uh, destroyed. With drop shipping, you don't have to worry about overstock or inventory shortages or things like that. You're simply just selling what the third party vendor is wanting to sell to a customer that's going through you. The last and biggest benefit of drop shipping is that you don't have to spend any money on the product until the customer does. They send you the money for the product and then you buy the product from the third party and send it, ship it straight to the customer. This is great because it frees up some extra money to be invested in the parts of your business that really need it instead of in the inventory of your product. So this sounds super appealing, so why doesn't everybody do it? Well, here are lots of downfalls to drop shipping and why I think you should know this before you start a business. The, the first big downfall is that since the entry skill level of drop shipping is so low, then that means that the market is very saturated. There's lots of people trying to do the same thing. So if you try and jump in and try and sell products that lots of other people are selling, you're gonna have lots of competition and it's gonna be really hard for you to sell those products when so many other people are running ads and driving traffic to those products. And that's a really big downside to drop shipping and it really gets some people discouraged really quickly. This problem and lots of other problems with drop shipping can be avoided if you just do the proper research about which product you're going to drop ship. If you're doing a product that's already very saturated, you're not gonna have lots of success. What you need to do is you need to find a very specific product that caters to a very specific need in a very specific type of niche. An example of this would be like vegan dog food. Very small niche, but you could be very profitable because there's not a lot of competition and you may be one of the only ones those people find. Another downside to drop shipping can be the quality of your products. Now, since you're getting it from a third party uh, vendor, it's most likely overseas in China where they mass produce things and their quality might be a little sketchy. What you might need to do is purchase the product first and to test it out to see what their advertising is what you get because you don't want to make a bunch of sales with a product only to have lots of those uh, products refunded because what happens with drop shipping is that the refunding falls back on you. The company is not responsible for the refunding, you are. So you have to actually refund the money or buy another product and send them another one which basically loses the money that you ended up making from drop shipping in the first place. So that can be a very big problem that if you don't research can cause you lots of headache and heartbreak in the business. Another problem is going to be something that most customers expect 
and that's a fast shipping of their item. With drop shipping, that's not really the case. Because you're ordering from a third party vendor across the world, it may take two to three weeks before your customer receives their product. This could be a big hindrance in your success. You really need to lay it out clear before they buy it, the amount of time that's gonna take to get their product. And if they can't get their product anywhere else for a better price or in a better shipping uh, time limit, then you're gonna be the place that they're gonna wanna go. With all the pros and the cons of drop shipping, it's really up to you whether you wanna start this business model or not. It can be very profitable and there are lots of people making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year doing this with the right product and the right traffic and the right customers. So you also have to consider the downsides. All the things that we mentioned can, mentioned can really hurt your business and can really hurt your morale and discourage you into doing further business online. We don't want that to happen. So really do the research and try and see if drop shipping is for you. So with that being said, if you wanna learn about different ways to make money online, go ahead and click the subscribe button right here to check out more videos and playlists that I've compiled on my channel. I wanna thank y'all for watching today and I'll see you next time.